Rapid antigen tests are hard to come by, so Ashley Parry was relieved to find some at a local tobacconist. I was really scared that like they were going to sell out like so quickly, and I was like, okay, um, yes, I'll get um, five. She was charged $150 for five tests, a price of $30 each. I opened the bag and saw that it was all single test, uh, like in Ziploc bags as well. It wasn't in a box or anything. She is one of 1,800 people who have lodged a complaint about inflated prices with the ACCC. Many of the reports are between $20 and $30, uh, which is concerning. And then we've had reports, a number of reports, of well above $30, which of course is just beyond outrageous. The wholesale cost of a rapid antigen test averages between $4 and $8. The ACCC says anything above a 100% markup is hard to justify. They've ordered more than 40 retailers to explain their pricing. The tobacconists, the convenience stores, the uh, petrol stations, people who you would not normally expect to sell these products, are doing a fair bit of it, and that's where we're seeing the highest pricing. The ACCC is willing to name and shame some king-of-the-pack tobacco stores and some metro petrol stations the subject of multiple complaints. I'm really hoping that companies hear this message and adjust their behaviour very quickly. The warnings may help, but the central problem remains. There aren't enough tests due to a failure to anticipate just how many Australians would be affected by a major spike in COVID cases and the flow on effect to the workforce. The federal government maintains more tests are on their way. Some 200 million rat tests are now on order between the federal, the state governments and the private sector. The Morrison government has made our economy hostage to tests that people either can't find or can't afford. But it could be weeks before supply comes close to matching demand. Melissa Clark, ABC News, Canberra.